Now this morning, as we discuss political happenings of the week, I am joined by two gentlemen, both of whom have not been here this year. Uh, political strategist Cornelius Chepsoy, Karibu San. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you been? Very well, very well, very well. Karibu. <laughs> and uh, Wakili Juche Sire. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Nice nickname. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, Jude Law. Yeah. So, on the happenings of the week, of course, the, the discussion right now is still about Bibiad, uh, whether the train has uh, stopped, paused, or rather, you know, be very start there uh, for for the BBI as we see it. Let me start with you, Chip. Sorry. First, you owe me. You owe me the bet. <laughs> told yeah. you this thing was called the burning bridges initiative mm -hmm. you solomon and uh, our other friend eh, <coughs> really got me off the studio <laughs> as a uh, derailed as it will be it will continue i don't know yet but the way i see it it's permanently permanently injured mm. might not die Jude, just, just on an overview, uh, do you have the same view? Uh, in terms of uh, headlines, mm -hmm. it is still alive. In terms of uh, it uh, getting into something substantive or the constitution, uh, things are because of time. I'm not uh, the 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 sh docking at uh, the port. Yeah, it was obvious that the government would appeal for all that. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of shock as as to that truly, mm -hmm. and uh, I think Wanainchi had thought that that ruling would not be coming that way. What does that ruling say about uh, the status of our judiciary with regards to its independence? Uh, Levy, let me just start by saying, uh, by just talking about the constitution of that bench. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we have to be alive to the fact that it is Justice Maraga who instituted that uh, bench that had the uh, matter, mm -hmm. that particular matter. Remember, it's not one, but there were about eight mm -hmm. so that were consolidated. Mm -hmm. And uh, from my experience, the, that bench was a respectable bench, uh, with the likes mm -hmm. of uh, the, the presiding yeah, judge, depth, they said. Uh, who is a uh, Ivy League student, mm -hmm. and he did as in Harvard, and uh, his appreciation of the law, even by the kind of precedents that he sets, uh, he has handled uh, very, very uh, sensitive mm -hmm. matters before. Mm -hmm. Just is a uh, uh, Justice Ngugi, mm -hmm. mm, Chacha Mwita, he's, he's uh, always, many a times you'd read the papers and you'd appreciate the kind of legal work he does. Uh, similarly, Justice Ngugi was very, very prominent in Milima, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he also is uh, you, you, somebody respectable in the judiciary. Similarly, uh, and uh, the, 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 our good lady, so, uh, in my opinion, they did their research well. Uh, issues to do with the law are well tackled. Uh, as personally, I would confess that I didn't expect it to come that way, based on pr past practices, where you probably, because, mm. I mean, they not lose. Women doesn't lose. So uh, we had not anticipated that angle. And uh, the fact that the government or rather the authorities be, been, uh, you'd find uh, courts not being uh, obeyed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I expect it to, uh, to come the way it, it came. Yeah. yeah. My, my view is this has been brewing for a very long time. You remember that uh, the Supreme Court ruled the election was not valid, that they had to go for a yeah. review. So it's not, I mean, it's not 
the courts lately to be that bold. But we do remember the backlash as well from that ruling. Yes, uh, you know, who was revisit? This time it's the courts revisiting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're the, revisiting the, themselves. Yeah. He, he kept telling them, we shall revisit, we shall revisit. Now it's their turn to, re, to revisit uh, the presidency. Yeah. And I think also we must appreciate that this judiciary has come a long way from the likes of uh -huh. who basically even to to remove the hearing. It was the only to become a CJ. I mean, there's quite a number of bold people in uh, in our courts today. I mean, we cannot rule out the, 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 the fact that there's influence outside the court. Yeah. That's a possibility. But uh, in terms of discussing um, and the reading of the, that uh, and the orders issued by the judges. Mm -hmm. Some may be open for debate and, and that's why probably Jubilee, IBC, Raila Odinga are at the hope that they can hold on to some straws. But let me know, it doesn't matter how it goes at the Court of Appeal or the Supreme Court. The fact is, it's and, 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 and I'm sure the judges were aware. There's another fundamental issue. How many how many in the Court of Appeal? Who was refused to appoint? Lost to, is it 40 judges? 41. 41, 41 they say one on, uh, mm. since the, yeah. the appointments. Judges have not been appointed. I'm telling you, there's, 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 there's anger among the judges themselves. And, and just before this, we were discussing that issue of mother. It's easy for somebody to look uh, during interview, interview, everything else. But when you're in office, you have seen her tenure. She used to, <laughs> even yeah. if you're a student, you may have her. Now, she, speaking she, of... She can get used to. I have a feeling. Mm. This is my feeling. I feel not everything will go through. I mean, they're going to wash a, a, a bit of what they, the 21 they issued. But I'm sure those judges are also smart enough to put 21 points, knowing many of them is what they upheld yeah let me ask in terms of boldness because that was one point was uh it was was that there is a feeling it's especially uh government and we've seen government cs has come out cs munya talked about it uh cs mutai kagwe was uh, on the clip this week all of them railing at the fact that the judge uh, who was reading the, the, the ruling seems to have a certain um for lack of better words to his read that he met uh, the president 13 times, not a single time <laughs> as president. And then the, one of the rulings suggested that the president had broken the law and seemed to open the door to uh, the, the president you know, uh, held in food. Uh, in food or things like that. He enjoys uh, immunity. No, 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 no. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, because I want to have the last word. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. But I wanted to say this, Levy. Yeah. You, know, you, you have always yeah. seemingly that you see because somebody holds this very high office, then needs to become some. So just you. it's a title. Yeah, you see? yeah. No, no. Hold on. Your, uh, your, That's fine. The judge is your lord. First of all, let we us do it. In let course. us agree. That we and not so the judge was calling him Uhuru as opposed to President Uhuru, you know, deliberately or not, he's holding his own view with regard to the hold of the office as of now. But one thing also said in that ruling, the president as institution has no capacity to initiate this kind of reform. He could initiate it as himself as a person, as a citizen. But unfortunately, those two things are tied. So he was not in the best place to be the one, you know, pushing for a constitutional amendment. But my point is, why is it that in this country, we have this ridiculous idea, because you hold a high office in courts, mm -hmm. a CS, a president, a C These are all jobs we grant to these uh, fellas. If you're a politician and people vote for you into office, you are their work. Way around. But it, it's only in this country where people have this attitude. Once I become your MP, once I become your CS, then I'm your boss. And yet, I elect. You know, for me, it was fantastic. Put everybody 
you know, show everybody that you're not above the law. And the Constitution does not anticipate a situation where the president is above the law. They enjoy, although I was not present when they cut. I think it was just for purposes of allowing the gentleman to be holding on a particular moment to be able to deliver his work without, you know, having to go through it. Yes, you know, I mean, anybody anything any any time just to take the president and to keep you active in court but you've got to countries like Israel they've taken a president straight from state house to jail in the middle of his term what's so wrong uh, Angela Merkel look at the size of the economy of Germany she goes to a market with a basket with her husband and comes out in this country, ridiculousness and I am Happy. So that was the, that bringing discourse, down that elevation. Yes, are dismystifying this thing called And if you are talking about uh, CSS, only this week, eh, Ngujiri, who is a diehard supporter of Uhuru, is in support of a motion about Matiangi, who, for whatever reason, many people believe has become way too arrogant for, you know, for us. Mm -hmm. And yet, some of them support the president. Wakil, was it true? Uh, on, on, on. They're saying, uh, you know, Mr. Katan, Mr. Uh, uh, Levy, let's on your distinguish. Side. <laughs> <laughs> he will be with you. Let's distinguish the office of the president and the individual holder of the office. So what the court did was remove the office of the president and uh, to bring in... Uh, Uhuru individual in the sense that the positions he made them as an individual and that's why they were very clear when they said that uh, he can be sued eh, in a civil matter in his own capacity as an individual not the I think that spirit that uh, Gugi together with the team were in those issues based on him as an individual. And when it comes to, to do with the, the, uh, the presidency, of course, uh, you would appreciate that the Constitution talks about sovereign power. Huh? Belongs to the people. The ones who elect the leaders. The, 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 in other words, Ganjiku is the employer the president. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have the other elected representatives, and this power will be exercised by the elected representatives, then the national office, which is the executive, and so forth and so on. But we should share the fact that the judiciary uh, got an opportunity to assert its independence, because over the last years, uh, we take that uh, the executive has been obeying court orders, and that kind of thing. Remember also, uh, parliament has been captured. Uh, they are not independent, because uh, you would even see through the how for the BBI and that kind of thing. Even from the, these are the elected representatives who are MCAs. Mm -hmm. uh, they were offered, they were offered a grant, a car grant for them to vote in of BBI. So uh, judiciary got this opportunity to that itself. And I going I'm seeing uh, a replica of just uh, of, of of the judiciary that was but there. hasn't it opened the door for say that you know because they were clear in saying that you know the president has one impeachment for example. I could not say that, but we should also appreciate that. Uh, Almost nudging people, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, you need to read the for impeaching a president. I just through is do not forget he's human. Do not forget that uh, politics is about a politician. He's invested in for political interest. Whatever, but politics is about interest. It's not about friendship. It's about what you want. So the is also cognizant of that fact. As we see teaching a president under this constitution of the previous, 
the one that's coming. The thresholds are way too. I mean, when you have to ask the doctor to certify that the place is in, is in capacity, uh, is capacitated mm. to represent the family of the president, surely. How are you going to get that through? The thresholds are pretty impossible. I'm very high. Yeah, and uh, I would high. agree with the chap so yeah. much as I know. Of course, I would say he's a learning friend. Mm. Not mm. learned like no, this. Is not learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is not The, 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 the threshold <laughs> that has been set by the yeah. constitution is high. Yeah. But uh, when uh, Justice uh, Ngugi mentioned, uh, referred to him as Mr. Kenyatta, uh, the spirit was just uh, was on his individual capacity because he is a human being first mm. before being president. Yeah. And that is the reason why they were saying, yes, him as an individual. Huh? Uh, he should be held responsible for not following the constitution in terms of uh, driving it uh, so that it can be reviewed. You remember, Levy, when we were reviewing the other constitution, uh, 2010, before that, mm. uh, remember previously, like before 2005, the executive then wanted to, to influence the review of the constitution in a particular direction. And uh, when it came to the referendum, uh, it was thrown out. You remember the banana mm -hmm. and orange, and historically, of course, that is the, when the orange democratic movement uh, was, born. was born. But after that, now, uh, when they had the commission, and you see the, the procedure that they followed to the time we got a new constitution in 2010 was very thorough. But this other one, it wasn't very extensive. Remember, it originated from the handshake. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at the judgment, it, they started by giving a history of BBI, uh, dating back to uh, 18th of March, 2018, where they was informing, they were giving a background that uh, the president, His Excellency the President, Uru Kenyatta, and uh, the former, Right Honorable Prime Minister Raila Odinga shook hands, and from and there the they decide, made a decision yeah. that the constitution be, 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 be reviewed. Yeah, but you see, the mm. argument they are making is, and they are saying the judgment did not take into consideration was that uh, BBI, uh, you know, asserts that mm. they got four million signatures. Four million signatures again as which <laughs> <document. laughs> <laughs> again, <laughs> again as which document? <laughs> I you're, mean, you're even sat up. Yeah, <laughs> they, I'm just asking you. They are sad that they got four million. Yeah, that's fine. And that, that's fine. And that those are the people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When they are talking about the people mm -hmm. that are being, uh, you know, disenfranchised, those are the pig people because those are the four million signatures that said we are with these documents. Not, not a problem, no. maybe. So there's uh, what? Uh, are we 18,000 uh, million voters now, or at least? Possibly. Yeah, almost. So I mean, mm -hmm. you're talking you about. Take. Yeah, you're talking. You know, about how, many, how many voters we are? Yeah. We are, we, are, we are closing down on about 15, 18. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you're talking about 4,000 out of 18. 4 million. 4 million, 4 million out yes. of 18, I mean, surely. Mm -hmm. It's a sample size. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a measly, less than a quarter mm -hmm. of the people who, you know, vote in this country. It's ridiculous. I saw Raila saying, you know, the resources that we've already utilized. And that's why the, prayer, the, the prayers that were presented in court included surcharging the individuals. They said, if yeah. you Which gave did not an work, order, they did not I mean, the judges also looked at it. You know, you, you've got to be rational. If you say you're going to surcharge the president, uh, uh, right, uh, honorable prime minister, and uh, the committee for the money that we have utilized, we already know they have burned up close to 15 billion. Who among them is going to pay? So, I mean, they declined it on the basis that, one, you know, you, you can't punish somebody who was invited to come and sit in a committee to determine uh, the direction of BBI or to come up with a uh, rapporteurs and whatnot, all those guys. Mm -hmm. you, you almost can't hold it against them. They're also looking for jobs. Yeah. But the thing is... but the, 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 So that four million does not authenticize the fact that, you know, this thing may have been... Ha, have a, ha, ha, some people behind it may have been a people process. No, but that's what I'm saying. Look, the requirement was a million... How many? Was it a million uh, signatures? Yes, a million. So yeah. four million is over and above. They even said, Yeah, you know, so that's they, what they I'm required. saying. If they went to four million people, that's their problem. They should even have stopped at the point where they had a million signatures, which is the constitutional threshold. If you went to four million, that's your headache, and that's your problem. But the thing is, even if you take the four million people, it's still nothing compared to the total population of people. And in any case, uh, our friend, the, the one of uh, Punguza Mzigo, 
the one uh, you and Solomon <laughs> severely <laughs> tried to damage, he got the same number of uh, signatures without all the resources that these gentlemen have. In fact, I would have wished that the judges actually surcharged them, even if they were not able to pay. Yeah. But my point is, uh, Le uh, 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 Levy, I find it very ridiculous for a man, the stature of Raila, to argue on the basis of resources as opposed to the substance of the document itself. Yeah. It is, it is yeah. very unfortunate. Let me, let me, yeah, just yeah. jump in before you go on break. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is there's one issue I also have. Okay, give or take the other signatures just to confirm that it is a... They wanted to justify that it is a process that originates from the people. I personally, I have no problem. In fact, I am pro the constitution being reviewed because there are certain aspects which one we felt should be captured. The issues to do with inclusion and that kind of thing. However, my main challenge was even the way they were collecting the signatures, uh, they used the provincial administration, eh? civil servants, mm -hmm. eh? to obtain those signatures. So if you went to a chief, he would tell you first, before I serve you, I should, uh, you Kappa. should sign. And I, I don't remember this so happening before 2010. And in anything, we are not, the country is not moving. It's still with us. So we can initiate the constitutional review uh, movement or we can, or rather exercise without necessarily forcing it to the people. And I think the main issue is about how it, it, it was forced to the people. Otherwise, if they were patient enough to go through the, what the law says, systematic, and it, uh, you know, the constitution making process takes time. It's not something that you just walk into a supermarket and come out, come out with the constitution. Mm. So I, I believe much as we need to review it, it wasn't in the right way. Right, we'll take a break on that note. We'll come back and talk more about the BBI and what to expect. Don't go away. We'll be right back.